Welcome to school. How can you get the So I'm super excited because for the first time I've actually built my own robot without using any instructions. Mainly because I challenged a student to try to create a claw that could open up. Oops, hold on. That could open up like this. Uh, and then I wanted them to make it be able to go up and down as well. And so I figured if I was gonna challenge them to do that, I wanted to be able to do it myself. This part wasn't actually too bad, the going up and down. I used an old motor from an old kit, um, so that's why it looks a little different. Um, but the main part that was difficult was attaching it to the brick, mainly because the original one that I had didn't really have a spot for it, so I had to kind of create it a little bit differently. But super cool, super exciting. Most of them are finishing this project. They're not building this, they're just building the rescue mission. Next week we start the final project where they get to build whatever they want, um, which is always super exciting. So let's see how they finish up the rescue mission project. When it gets to it, this should move down and then it should move back up. Getting it and turn and then keep going. To the exit. And what is it doing instead? It's just stopping. All right. So what I would do, I'd plug it in. It's still trying to do something right now. I'd plug it in, and then I would see which block it lights up and stops on. It fell off. It fell off. It went like this. Robot still. And it fell off. And then it flew off. Yeah. Alex. No, don't push it over. What was the uh, deciding factor in make, getting it to work for you? Um, I like had to redesign my cargo because it was sliding off, and also I changed the value of the how much the medium motor moved because it was like picking up and throwing it off. Did you get your video? I did, look. Ooh. Multiple perspectives. That's awesome. It worked. Success? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it worked. Because it didn't go. It's doing something weird now. <laughs> oh. Lorenz here is one of the dads. He's got a drone. We're gonna check it out and possibly go to the park and fly it. 3DR solo. Yeah, so this is a, this is a drone. I've, it's pretty fun to fly. So it's called a gimbal. This is a camera stabilizer. And it has to do with whether they're, they rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And now we've got actually like sort of live video. Hey! <laughs> but here you can see yourselves well, on the controller. So the plan for next year is I'm gonna be reaching out to a few different drone companies to see if our school, since we have a grant for it, if our school can get more than one. And my goal is not just to use something like this in robotics, but to be able to use it in all of our classes or in any in any you student. Can add it to your videos and have like a yeah, that that is also. <laughs> so. I think there's like tornado warnings, so there's not gonna be. Hey, what's up, Bry? There's not gonna be any drone flying today, unfortunately. Uh, but probably in like a week or two, uh, Lorenz will be coming back and we'll be giving it a shot then. Most students didn't finish their project. I think that's okay. Uh, they were working pretty diligently. So we probably won't start the actual final project next week, uh, or at least not in the beginning of next week, maybe mid next week. So a lot of progress today. Thanks for watching. Sorry no drone footage today. Maybe next time or the time after next. Um, and definitely a lot more next year because we got the grant to get a drone for next year, at least one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.